Hey guys, Rui here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're going to talk about how to use a trim sheet through Decal Machine to apply it to your models. And it could seem very easy, but um, there's a lot of options over there and, you know, can get a bit confusing, right? So I'll show you how to use a trim sheet to create something perfectly tileable like this, right? Kind of like an infinite tile, seamless tile, um, you know, of Geo, which is uh, pretty bloody cool, to be honest. I mean... This is not a perfect example of a sci-fi floor because, you know, there's way too many details. You know, it looks like a Luna Park or Disney. But um, the point of this uh, exercise is to actually create something that, you know, is continuous. Yeah. OK, guys, so let's grab a plane, uh, shift A and let's grab a plane and G sh shift Z and let's move it somewhere here. Also, I'm going to turn on screencast keys before. The bitching committee is gonna get me, right? There we go. Now you're happy. Good. Go to top view and bring it somewhere here. Now we need some, you know, loops in here, right? So I'm just gonna drop like I don't know, let's say four of them, okay, in different locations, right? And then we're gonna be dropping the trim. So left click on, you know, on the trim D, and if you have a trim in your library, you can add it. Now if you're gonna click. On a trim like this just like that it's gonna get the whole thing to the surface okay if you want to add just to a part of it you need to do it with an alt so alt, alt click and you will add it to the you know part of it yeah and the rest is gonna be covered by it's gonna be covered by um, um, a material that was assigned to a free space neutral space okay without an elevation or details all right so there we go and we're gonna assign something here as well so you know some other trim if you hold control you can actually scroll through different types of trims right so we can for example grab this one and um, also if you want to you can press D adjust and scroll your mouse and this will rotate the trim okay which is also pretty cool right and then we're going to drop, grab another one. And uh, now you can just press on a trim. You don't have to hold Alt. You need to hold Alt the first time. Hold Control and let's just scroll through them. And maybe grab this one. And one more. Let's grab some pipes. Where are these pipes? S scroll through Control and um, let me see pipes 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 these are these are pipes right there we go all right and now let's uh let's array this okay so let's array this and let's see what's gonna happen right so let's array this here in fact we could just array it, array it very uh, accurately so you know just simply press here a uh, minus two right and it's gonna be a perfect um, alignment okay because the this uh, uh geo is two by two now you can see that we already have some problem and you know in, in, in fact two problems so we need to fix this right now if you go to adjust and press g you can move it but this is not really what we want we don't want to move it along we just want to scale it so press d um, adjust and s and now hold shift and you can scale it to move it into position you can perfectly align you know these two right it takes a bit of fiddling on my side because my mouse is super uh, sensitive and now you get a perfect you know perfect alignment here perfect match okay now let's talk about this one here you can you, we can fix it the same way so we could uh, you know just grab um, adjust s and simply scale it so you scale it inwards on, or outwards depending on what you are after right so you could scale it outwards like this and create a seamless transition between these two, right? You also need to pay attention to your textures, okay? That's also important, right? Another thing is that you can change the way uh, the trim sheet fits, okay? So so you can go to uh, adjust, right? And press F to fit it in a different way into the sheet, right? Now, if you want to move stuff, you can lock certain axes. So, for example, uh, you could go to uh, adjust and press uh, G and you can move it on, on uh, X axis, but you can lock X axis and start moving it on, um, you know, uh, for example, uh, Y axis. OK, um, and the same goes for scaling. So if I, for example, wanted to switch it to something like this, uh, I can press D 
uh, adjust as and I can now scale it but I will just unlock y axis and unlock x axis and I can you know uh, play with my design this way and create something like this okay this is not a very good uh, trim sheet I think I've created because it doesn't really tile that well I haven't thought about it that's a mistake on my part so you see that's actually a good example of uh, seeing problems with trim sheets because this one doesn't really tile that well uh, actually yeah it doesn't doesn't make any bloody sense this one so this one will need to go because uh, this line should be aligned with uh, with this one and then it will be uh, perfectly tileable so I made a mistake here so anyway it was an example sheet anyway so but we can change it to something else so, you know hold control and you can scroll through different options and grab this one for example and Bob Jungle and now <clears throat> You have created a part of a, you know, table floor, and you can tile it across your, your scene, um, and um, you know as many as many um, iterations as you want. And once you assign trim sheet to your model, you simply export it as OBJ, and you know you're done. Another important thing is that you don't really need. UVs okay so when you have a cylinder let's say and you're gonna you know bring it somewhere here and uh, let's uh, scale it and assign some uh, indentation here let's go to EM macro and move it in select these faces and drop them down at a bevel right and then if I want to assign some trim sheet to this one all I need to do is simply alt alt click on my trim and scroll i don't need to assign you know uvs to this um to uh, i don't need to unwrap this to for the trim sheet to work which is brilliant because normally you need to unwrap your model uh, for the trim sheet to work and machine as you can see is extremely fast it's just so um so powerful that um you know it's it's just incredible right the coolest thing about it is that you can mix trim sheets so i could just introduce some stuff from example from the machine trim sheet that comes with deco machine and you know the only problem is that this one doesn't have the same texture so we need to apply texture uh, uh, using the deco machine uh, texture application to trim sheets which is something we're gonna be talking about in the future uh, but you know i could mix the trim sheets together and it's absolutely no problem right so uh, it's a pretty cool pretty cool concept so you can see how fast i can um you know detail my models right and this is basically ready to be exported to a game engine because all you need to do is simply um um you know optimize optimize your object and and Bob Jankel right now there you go how, how long it took me 30 seconds yeah you know and if it's a little bit faceted sometimes so it's possible that you're gonna see this kind of like a well it's a game asset so it's okay you know it's gonna be a bit squarish like but you can do what you can do is at one level of sub D let's say you're using it for rendering and you can see this you know um squarishness of geo right so you can just go to hard ups uh, uh crease and shift control click on sharp and control one and you add it to one level of subdivision right so sub d mod and there you go it's smooth as as teens bottom okay so there you go yeah it's perfect now the this is interesting actually you see this bevel here this is a very thin bevel it doesn't look as pleasing as a soft bevel soft bevels are actually or, uh, kind of white bevels are actually perfect for trim sheets and decals in general so something to remember but anyway you know looks good really from a close-up because these are 4k textures so looks pretty good from any angle really and that's the point of creating trim sheets right flawless basically okay guys i think that would be that would be it for um using deco machine with trim sheets and how to tile them in um in blender if you know anytime you uh, you are confused always just go to the menu and read it because everything literally is written in here okay you know the um, rotation 
with your mouse, you know, adjustment with F, moving, etc, etc. So everything is over there, right? So the trigger, like you see in creating trim sheets, is to create them in a way that they tile. So like I made a mistake with these panels here, uh, these panels here, right? They were not really tiling very well, so where are they? Uh, let me find them again. These ones, right? Um, these, this line here should be perfectly be aligned with this one, so that was a mistake on my part. So I, ne I need to fix this and rebake this trim because this doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make it usable because it's you, you know, it looks as if it was cut off, right? So it just doesn't make any sense. So you gotta be, you know, careful with these, right? But other than that, um, there you go. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did, and. There are links to decal machine in the video description, so if you need the add-on or any other add-ons that I'm using, like hard ups, box cutter, all links in the video description, so grab them uh, through the links, you're going to help me as well. It doesn't cost you anything extra, so you're just going to help the channel. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.